Ron, have another question here from a member. Ron, will the QFS automatically set up a QFS account? Or do we need to transfer everything into the QFS account once it is activated? Also, do we need to have XLM and XRP? Uh, it, it's an interesting question. <clears throat> I'm going to say it this way. The quantum financial system has been around for eons of time. It's being introduced to us so that we can use it here on this earth. The account that we are going to have in the quantum financial system is already there. We just have to activate it by saying we'd like to establish. We call it establish. We'd like to, I'm going to say, I'd like to activate my accounts as many as I have. And it will be done. But the fact is, is that it's already there. We don't understand time, or we wouldn't have asked that question. It's already there. It all happens in an instant because there is no time. Big Bang Theory, it's not a theory. It all happens at once. It's called the in-breath and the out-breath of Brahman if you listen to other religions. It's an ebb and flow. It's like a circle. We start at the top and we go around and we come back to the top. We go out and that's what, that's what Prime Creator does. Goes out and comes back. There's no time involved in it. Here in our dimensions, we have time so that we don't um, mess ourselves up. So there's things been created for us uh, uh, to exist in a third dimensional state. Who did all that? We did. Each one of us helped in the creation of the third dimension. Period. Exclamation point. Because it doesn't, nothing has been created for us. We are the creators. That's a hard one, isn't it? We're the creators. We created everything before we came here. Specifically, Love One Society for those who are going to use Love One Society for the humanitarian activities. This is a major, major step. And I'm not saying this by myself. The Alliance downloaded what we had already created together as a loved one society. And there are people who say, well, well, you're being pretty presumptuous to think that sort of stuff. I said, well, I'm not being presumptuous. I'm just, just being act or acute, accurate. If you don't believe it, wait and see. You'll find out. We created Love One Society so that we'd have something to do while we're here with our money. Here it is. The structure is perfect. Why is it perfect? Well, I, I shouldn't say it that way. It's becoming perfect. The implementation will have things that we ourselves can create. And each individual who is a uh, managing director will create the things that they're going to do with the funds that have been created for us or that we created before we came here. I still have some cabal stuff that I got to get rid of. So the QFS accounts are already there for us. We will take our banks or uh, whatever we hold our money and exchange it for digital gold certificates in the quantum financial system. It's an account that we already have. Everybody will be depositing 
digital gold, or excuse me, uh, fiat currencies into the quantum financial system. But those who are dark side and uh, don't meet the standards, they'll change their money over, but they won't be able to use it. Why? Because we're moving into a higher dimension and they won't be involved. Okay, now there's those in XRP and XLM think that the quantum financial system will be using XLM and XRP. They are misinformed. They're planning on their own way of doing things. They have no idea what they are talking about. XRP and XLM have absolutely nothing to do with the quantum financial system, period, exclamation point. If you have XRP or XLM cryptocurrencies, the quantum financial system will accept that in exchange for digital gold certificates. XRP and XLM require the Earth computers to function. They are not part of the quantum internet. They are not part of it. They have to have their own Earthbound computers, and it's not part of the quantum um, internet. It doesn't function there. And when we change from the quantum, we, we, we're in parallel right now with the quantum uh, internet. And it'll just be a simple change over. Anything that's, that's based in the present internet will change to exist in the quantum internet that's coming. I don't know how that's going to happen. It's not my job to know that. And it's not my job to explain it. I just know that the XRP and XLM and any other cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin included, will be exchanged for digital gold certificate for those who are qualified by the alliance to make that exchange. Others will try and, and we'll go ahead and they'll go through the processes, but they're not going to be around to spend their money or do anything within the quantum financial system because it's not a dark side experience for those it won't exist. They will be excluded from participation in the quantum financial system because the quantum financial system is more a fifth dimensional experience. When we talk about going into our galactics, our galaxy, and having commerce with them, do you think they're as bad as the Earth? Or similar to what was, was going on here? No, they're not. They're highly evolved people. At one varying stages to another. Depends on who's the creator of those experiences or those those entities or whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> I just know that the XRP and the XLM and everything that do with the present internet will not exist in the quantum internet that's coming. I hope that's clear to everybody. And those people who are saying that the, the, the XRP is, is is the basis of the quantum financial system, they are not informed. They're just playing their own tune. They're just total, total disinformation specialists. Now, I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody. I'm just trying to be real. If you knew what the quantum financial system is, you would not assume that XRP and XLM are in the quantum financial system. They will be exchanged for digital gold certificates for those who qualify, those who the alliance vets to be a part of what's going to happen.
Now, you can argue with me, and the people who are presenting this will argue till they're, I don't know how long they'll argue. But once a quantum financial system is set in place, there's no argument because they will know that they have been misinformed and are misinforming other people. Disinformation, because they do not have inside knowledge of what's going to take place. I'm not trying to be arrogant here. I really not. I just want you to know what's going to happen. And this is the way that the Alliance, and I'll say Jesus here, because Jesus is the head of the Alliance for this earth. Yeshua, Sanando, all of the names, the same, the same uh, entity. So it's all going to be done according to the way that, and this is what I got from Yeshua, Jesus, my brother, your brother. So get used to the facts and time will tell. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But then, yes, you would be wrong, Jesus, in what he told me. So you can believe what you want, and that's okay. That's your choice. Let's move on to the next one. Go on. Thank you, Ron. We'll be right back. 